JVC GY DV301 no functions um, no eject um, no LCD uh, display um, no zoom the only thing I have is the EVF lights up and it stays lit um, as you can see I can power it down and it stays up um, I'm just going to strip the unit down now to see can I see anything uh, right. I'm going to start by taking this button panel off first by removing these two screws here and then these three screws there is marks on the screws so it's probably been opened before it has been into another shop before me it didn't come directly from the customer it came from a another workshop okay two more Now I'm going to start taking this side panel off and when I'm down here there's two silver screws one here at the rear and one at the front that looks like a longer silver screw than the other one now I'm going to take this one here at the rear Now we have another one here on the handle that holds the side panel in as well. Okay. Okay, we got access to the uh, camera. Remove this clip here, just uh, lift it up, out it comes, and we've got another two connectors. That comes. Now we've got another, let's get a closer shot of this. We've got a connector here, we get the lift up, and it comes out. Then at the, re the bottom here, we got two screws. And then we've got two screws here just beneath the EVF. The check button falls out and the spring falls out. 
and uh, this is what we're left with here now. I just got to plug that out, plug this out. Now we got access to the board, and there's four screws holding that in. One here. There's another one here somewhere. Here we go. Right above the DC jack. Then we just pull these connectors out here. And this board here comes out. And we're ready to start doing some checks on that board. Here's a diagram of the uh, pinouts on the connectors of the power supply. I'm just showing you these two connectors because this is where I had the problem. On CN6 we have 10 pins and our 48 volt supply, 15 volt supply and 12 volt supply were all missing. And over here on the CN7 connector, our 2.5 volt and 1.8 volt uh, was missing from the CN7 connector. And I've just drawn out a small diagram of it. And what we have in here coming in is your battery voltage. EV uh, voltage and it goes through your CP4 your connector it's rated at a half an amp and you get 7 volts 7 volts 7.2 7.4 somewhere around that depending on the uh, state of charge of the battery it comes into this uh, transistor Q7 which is controlled by this control IC on the power supply board and you would have pulses on the base of this transistor right there that point there that would be switching this transistor on and off which would give you pulses at this point as well but because we have a coil here you would have um, higher voltage here than you would here because this coil has the capability of generating its own back EMF. So that's you get around 48 volts then at this point here, and it goes through this diode pack, it's a little four legged um, diode pack. <laughs> And you get your supply comes out here for both your 12 volt and 15 volt supplies. Q15 has your 15 volt and Q12 has your 12 volt. And what I found was from uh, measuring the power supply is this CP4 was open circuit. And I replaced them with a uh, 500 milliamp uh, circuit protector and it didn't blow, um, it stayed up and running. I was getting my 7 volts roughly around this point here, but I was getting about 0.3 of a volt at that point there. I should have around 48 volts and it would switch down. They, you, you would check the pulses here on the base and they would come up and then just shut down so you have very little time because what I didn't show on this you have fee uh, feedback circuitry as well from this you have feedback to this control I see 
and it knows when there's a problem with that uh, power supply and it shuts it down. So you get very little time to measure. But what I uh, by, by using my uh, meter, I found it was about 20 ohms from here to ground. Sorry, not that point, but from here to ground. When I connect my ohm meter between them two points, that's what I was getting. And I took this capacitor C120 out of circuit. The schematic says it's 47 microfarad, but the parts list them tell me it's 10 microfarad. So I'm not too sure uh, which it is. But I took them out of circuit and measured them. There was a problem. Uh, there was about 50 ohms, something like that. I uh, can't remember exactly the, the, the figure, but it, it was leaky anyway. And I took them out and I put a 47 UF in that place. Put a, uh, it was a large capacitor I stuck in its place. And my 15 volts and my 12 volts uh, supplies came up and the camera is functioning with, with the uh, substituted parts in there. Okay, I'm going to just show you the connectors on the power supply. These are the two connectors on the power supply that I'm talking about. This larger connector here is CN7 and this is CN6. Your pin 1 starts at the top on both connectors. This is pin 1. Uh, this is pin 1 and this is pin 14 and this is pin 1 and down here we've got pin 10. And uh, you can measure them easily. You will need your. What I done was I disconnected my on off button and connected back up my panel just to temporarily uh, get it up working so I can do a few voltage checks. I'm just going to show you the locations now of the components. This is the power supply PCB out of the camera now. And the problem components are here. CP4 is in that location there and the capacitor in question is there and as you can see you got two capacitors here and the capacitor is identical looking that I took out to these it looks the same it's just there beside it so you'd have three capacitors in the row and the capacitor I found leaky was this one C120 I just get you closer, try and get you a closer shot of that. Okay, that's as close as I can get to it. You can see the location clearly. 